वेलकम इन दिस सेशन वी वुड टॉक अबाउट इनफॉर्मल फैलसीज इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस द फॉर्मल फैलसीज सो वी हैव द फोर काइंड ऑफ इनफॉर्मल फैलसी दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टूडे वी वुड बी फोकसिंग ओनली अबाउट द फैलसीज ऑफ एम्बिक्विटी सो जस्ट अ क्विक रिकैप फैलसीज कैन बी क्लासिफाइड अंडर फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल फैलसीज एंड देन दिस इनफॉर्मल फैलसीज आर एक्सप्लेन अंडर फोर डिविजन एज फॉलोज सो यू हैव today what we would be focusing is only the fallacies of ambiguity now what is the word ambiguity as the word suggests it's something that is not clear vague or a kind of formulation of words that does not reveal a clear cut meaning about something as the name suggests you have five different types of fallacies of ambiguity that we would be focusing on the first one and the most easiest one is fallacy of accent that means a person from china and a person from france so what a chinese say and what a french say both in english due to a difference in the accent they would have a some words that might remain not clear and that's where you have the fallacy of ambiguity that is seen the next is the fallacy of amphiboly amphiboly means putting something loosely oh i attended that seminar good okay fine it was nice so what i'm trying to say is good okay fine nice all these words i'm trying to say that it was okay but i'm not not explaining in terms of what uh regards to other seminars within the seminar how much good it was what was the good good criteria that was i'm try that i was trying to bring in so it's a kind of loosely arranged statements that are given or a kind of loose combination of words that i have created and that's where is the fallacy of amphiboly might be for me it was good for others it was okay but it is not clear as to what i am trying to reveal under this the next is the fallacy of equivocation now let's talk about a word faith when i say faith what does it actually mean the word faith here means has two meaning one is to have faith in someone that means to trust someone the other is belief in god so the pre says have faith now what i'm trying to say by have faith here is a belief in god but the other statement is i have faith that my son will do well so this is a kind of trust that you are creating with the family so the two faith here have two different meanings but they have been incorrectly used at the same position the priest said that have faith and i say uh, i have faith in son that he would do well so what is there is a kind of fallacy that is created due to equivocation one word with two different meanings as simple as that the last two are pretty interesting composition and division so composition what does it mean let's say this room is made up of bricks each brick holds 1 kg or 1 pound so what happens is i say this room is 1 kg or 1 pound but that is a incorrect way because you are composing things you are bringing the parts to the whole and that is something which is ignored out here and that's where we understand that there is a fallacy of composition that has come up the last and the most important is the fallacy of division what does the fallacy of division means let's say i say this house is half the other the neighbor neighborhood house so what i am trying to say is this half is half the this house is half the neighborhood house this could be in the terms of carpet area in the terms of number of rooms but if i conclude based on this that the door is half the size of the neighborhood house that is incorrect because everything is technically not half so it's not like that you have a 6 foot door there and here just a 3 foot three feet door and every time you enter it's like a tunnel you have to enter it's not that it's division but that statement that was put up was ambiguous it was not clear and therefore we say there is a fallacy of division so fallacy of ambiguity a very very important aspect in western logic the aristotelian logic we will be covering the three other fallacies in the upcoming lectures so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead do subscribe keep updated